guys you are welcome to my channel today i'm going to teach you how to sew a dart and so if you don't know how to take your dart measurement what you are talking about is your nipple to nipple how to place the dart there to get a perfect shape i have the video for body measurement day where you can watch and know how to take full body measurement for female and in this case you'll be able to know how to take your dart so if you are watching me and you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing like and share this video okay so let's get to business i have already made one that here and also the back one i've also made one that's there so i'm going to use so i'm going to use it to teach you how to make the other part now in order to get it simple just make sure you fold the dress the cutting into two and so this is for the front alone this one is for the front and i folded it into two okay so that you can get it simple do you get it um what you do is you fold it into two the back two is folded into two this is the down part it is both folded into two okay and so from your shoulder when if you don't know how to take measurement please go through my videos you will see a video on how to take body measurement so you will know how to take your dart measurement if you go to my description box there's a link there on how to take body measurement when you watch it you know how to take your dart measurement and so from your shoulder this is the shoulder you place the tape measure at the shoulder and then you measure your shoulder to bust and so your shoulder to bust what you get then you add half inch to it this client the shoulder to bust is 11 plus half is going to be 12 and then the next thing is shoulder to waist shoulder to waist and so this is basic um that shoulder to waist and so this one is exactly shoulder to waist plus one inch so this is the waist okay so from where you get this you will come to this line this is going to be your bust line you see and this is going to be your waistline okay so on your bust line when you measure your nipple to nipple from one to nipple to the other the measurement you get you divide it into two then you add half inch to it so this line the measurement is eight when i divide it into two it's going to be four then i'll add half to it and that's going to be 4.5 and so i'll come to the waist here and also measure the same 4.5 and that is going to be it. my dart line. This is going to be my dart line. Do you get it? Now, it is what you do at the waist here that give you that kind of perfect shape you want. And so, when you come to the waist here, you are going to measure one inch. By the one inch, you are going to divide it into two. Half inch here, half inch here. Okay. So, half inch on each side. And so, this is basic dart. Do you get it? This is basic that that as a beginner you need to know and so when you get this you are going to join this to this and this to this and so you go this way and join it to this and so this is it the moment you get this you are done the next thing is you will do what you did here you will do the same thing here so all that you need to do is to turn it this way and do the same thing here. now when you look at the that i have here is different from what i have here because here i did a little bit of adjustment this is not basic that okay so what i have here if i want to do the same thing here it means i'm going to consider my under bust if i want the under the breast that place to be tight i don't want any um gap there i want the dress to lie flat on the person then i'm going to consider under bust so from the shoulder here i'm going to measure from shoulder to under the breast and that is 14.5 i'm adding half inch to eight half inch to eight and then when when i had half inch, that is 15 and so when i come to the under bust here instead of marking half inch like i i did here because i want the underpass to be very tight i am going to mark one and half and that one and half i'll divide it into two so that's going to be 0 0.75 on each side and so i'll just place my um, tape measure here you see i've placed four here and then this is 0 0.5 so this is 0 0.75 
and then when you come here to this is 0 0.5 this is 0 0.75 okay so this time around i'm going to join this to this and then this to this and this you can decide to use a straight ruler to do it but i usually used my cave and so this way i'm using a red for you to understand and then you will come to this way okay and then i'm going to do the same thing also for here and then i'm going to go this way okay and so at the end of the day this is the that i'm going to work with but the blue one is what basic that and so you will do the same thing at the other side do you get it okay so now let's go to the back now when you come to the back the back to you place it here now when you measure your shoulder to bust the measurement you will get you will reduce two to three inches from it that two to three inches is what you are going to use for your back that especially if you have a high neck dress like what i'm having here and so when i reduce three inches from the 11.5 it's going to be one two three that is 8.5 but i'm going to go up and make it 7.5 because this is high neck dress i'm going to make it 7.5 so i'll come here this is 7.5 and then i'll come to the waistline also the same now so this is going to be my dart line okay for the back and this one to that line for the back now you should know that the back here has a zip allowance there and so all that you have to do is to place this on top the front one on top and then get your zip allowance this is where you are going to place the dots this is for zip this is for zip so you get this zip allowance off you get it and then from this line you are going to measure the four inches four inches plus half and that's going to be 4.5 and then you come here you measure four inches plus half which is going to be 4.5 then you're going to get your straight line okay and on this you're going to measure your half inch on each side half inch on each side this one you don't need to consider any underbass as for back it, de it doesn't need any underbass hope you get it and so from here you join it straight to this way and then from here also straight to this do you get it mm -hmm. and so this is it okay so this is how you make your basic that hope you get it you will do the same thing at this side and so i've done the same thing also you also here so this is what basic that okay so this is how you make your dart on your top that is your upper part okay so we are going to look at the down part that is if you are sewing a skirt how will you make your dart this one to have folded it into two mm -hmm, into two and with the skirt you are going to also come here just as we did and then the same measurement that is your nipple to nipple which is eight you divide it into two and that's going to be eight that and that's going to be four and so the four you will add half into eight and that's going to be 4.5 you place it here now with the length of the dart you are going to look at your hip line this is where the hip is the hip is at 8.5 8.5 you will come up two inches when your dart is exactly at your hip it is not beautiful you come so my camera went off i didn't know and i'm done here but i'm going to use that this side to teach you i was saying that if your dart is exactly on your hip it's not right it's not beautiful so let it come up two inches up do you get it okay so when you get the line then you're going to place your dart which is 4.5 you're going to place it here uh, the next thing to do is you're going to hold the dart at the waistline and not at the hip line and so on this you are going to mark half inch here half inch here and then join it this way just as we did for the upper part okay so if you finish this and you don't want to stress yourself by doing it again you can just come here take a pin and then pin it
so you pin this this way see then you turn it this way and then you will use your chalk to mark it to trace it do you get it so let me trace this and then you take off your pins then we join the points and then we join this one also and then we join this one also okay so put this one aside now when you come to this one this is the back so i'm going to use it to teach you this is where the zip allowance is you also stand here this is the line and then mark your four inches which is mark your four inches plus half which is 4.5 and then you mark you come here and you mark that is 6.5 now when you mark the 6.5 you you can add half to it to make it seven you get it and i'm going to do the same thing for the front one so seven then you make your 4.5 you see okay so let's mark it straight And then we are going to have half inch on each side this way and then we will join it this way and so with the down part the skirts that you don't need to add your you don't need to use a curve to do it a straight ruler is okay and so when you finish this you can still when you finish this all that you need to do is to trace it just as we did for the front one, you will trace it. Okay, so this is it. So this is how you make your skirt that and how you make your that for the for your top two. Yes, yeah, so you can choose the blue one or this. Okay, so we are going to do a dart on a straight top the first one was shoulder to your waist and this one is shoulder to hip that is if you are making a straight top like kaba then you are also the dart is a bit different from the other one and so we have the first line to be the bust line and then the second line to be the under bust and then the third line to be our waist and so we just place the darts on it and the dart is four inches that is 3.5 added half into it to make it four and we are going to draw it straight now if you're making a basic dart then you don't need the under bust but this i'm considering under bust and so we are going to place a dart at the waistline and that is one divided by two and that's going to be 0 0.5 on each side mm -hmm. and then i'll go to the under bust and then place 1.5 there just as i did for the first one yes then we'll join it and so 1.5 divided by 2 is going to be 0 0.75 on each side okay so that is 0 0.75 on each side and then when you come to the hip side we are not going to place anything there yes we are going to leave it like that and then the bust too so we'll join it from the bust point to the under bust and then from the underbust to the waist yes to the waist point and then straight to the hip mm -hmm, straight to the hip line and so this that is for a straight dress like you are making your straight kaba this is how you do the that or a straight top but if you are doing a cut and join that is how you that is you use the first method that is your shoulder to waist this one is shoulder to hip line okay so this is it okay so we'll go to the back too and just as we did for the other one this the that is going to be at seven and then that is at eight sorry i made it eight and then i'm going to measure four inches that is 3.5 plus um half inch four and that is on the um the zip allowance line and so from there you come to the waist yes so this one so you come to the waist so shoulder to waist we'll measure the shoulder to waist 
and then we are going to place the darts there measure four inches also there and then the hip line also and we are going to draw a straight line so at the waist we are going to have half inch on each side half inch on each side and then at the hip line that is the down there we are not going to place anything there we are going to leave it like that mm -hmm. and so we are going to join it from this one we are using a straight ruler you don't need any curve there so just a straight ruler okay so that is it but the next thing to do is to hold the dart and so if you are choosing the blue one you are going to hold it this way you see and then pin it So you pin it this way and you are going to sew on top or if you are choosing this too then it means your pins are going to come here and you are going to sew on top this way and you'll be done and then you do the same thing also for this part So I'm going to sew the dots. Okay, guys. So I am done. This is the dots. I'm done for the down parts. You see, this is the down part, the front, and this is the dot for the upper part, the front. You see. Mm -hmm. So I am done, and this is for the back also. That is the upper part, one of it. And so this is how you make your dots for either your top or your skirts this is it thanks so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing like and share this video for me